talking to you on the ones and twos. DJ needs to be spreading the news. Newbie and Queen Worldwide play that. New music, she ain't scared to break that. DJ DZ. Girl DJ Nisi D. Welcome back to another episode of the Nisi D Show. And we are broadcasting from the Blue Sky Media Group. Our guest today is actor Shane Costa. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Okay, we go way back. So let me put out a disclaimer right now. We're gonna get it in. Oh, <laughs> right? We're gonna get it in. That sounds kind of scary. I know. Don't you be know scared. too much. Don't be scared. You know too much. I'm not gonna tell everything. Okay. I will tell everything. <laughs> well, welcome. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you. How oh, you been? Wow. I'm good. I'm, I'm I'm blessed. You know, I'm working when when most people aren't. So right. You know, I'm good. And I'm in the market where like the, you know Florida is. Uh, <laughs> you know, we got our own thing. So like a lot of people stay away from us. Wait, calling us Hollywood East now? Oh man. Well, the <laughs> thing is, the truth is, is is we don't get a lot of work compared to everybody else because we're the non-union state. We're like the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> we're trying to get the you know we're trying to get the funding back. Yeah, yeah, you know, for yeah. the people who don't know. Right, right, right. You know, but it's happening. Slowly, it's happening. Slowly. Let's well, be optimistic. No, I know no, it's no, slow. No, well, no, here, here's 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 the ironic part about okay. it. Because of COVID, yes, and people aren't filming in California mm-hmm. and they're not filming in New York. I mean, it's starting to pick up now. Yeah. But a lot of people have to come here now because they can't do it where they used to yeah, do it. Yeah, right. This you is know, true. so um, hopefully, uh, you know, we got some good stuff happening right now where we're fighting to get our our um, funds back because right. we lost them. Right. Well, you know, I it, it's moving down southbound. We have Atlanta developing and doing a lot of work out of Atlanta. Florida's next in line. It's got to happen. It's going to happen. So talk about the funding. What happened? How how did we lose it? We um well, I don't know where we lost it. I know we lost uh we lost a lot of production. Ballers was one of them, mm-hmm. um because we lost uh, the tax incentives. That's the main mm-hmm. part. That's the funding that I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're hoping to bring back. We got so much here in Florida. You know, we keep all of our we don't have all the you know the weather problems that everybody else has mm-hmm. and I mean we're, we're down here uh, thanks to Lori Wyman and, and everybody else who's been fighting for us and you know um, forgive me because I know I'm going to get kicked in the teeth with this one <laughs> but there's a, a senator that's been uh, helping us with these bills and stuff mm-hmm. and um, you know boy I feel bad about saying that because I know we're missing his name and I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> that's alright well, if, but... if it comes to mind just just spit it but, on but, out. But it's we've okay. Been, we've been fighting hard to get to get the incentives back, mm-hmm. and uh, looks we're looking pretty good. But it's a, fight. it's a fight. Well, how creative has COVID caused you all to be, though? I, I do understand some people between Zoom and, and other uh, other oh, ways. <laughs> um, well, there's a there's a known actor uh, that I won't mention uh, because of you know all kinds of uh, you know. Uh, legality, so mm-hmm. to speak. Okay. But um, because of Zoom, I was able to work with, you know, an A-list actor mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, work with him and, and a couple of other people and stuff yeah. like that because of Zoom. So Zoom has actually been pretty pretty awesome. Right. Also being able to connect with other coaches and casting directors mm-hmm. that we normally wouldn't be able to see. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, the audition process and Zoom, what has that marriage been like since COVID? Oh well, I'm fortunate. I go to book from tape with uh, Jordan Woods, who played Eric on um, on The Walking Dead, and, okay. and got a, a really good relationship with him and Claire Lopez mm-hmm. over at uh, you know at book from tape. So I'm right here in Orlando, mm-hmm. and uh, that's how I got my recurring role. Is uh, recurring, not reoccurring. <laughs> <laughs> I know I get um, sorry, I get kind of hyped. Um, but no, um, it's a second set of eyes for me. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, it's you know, there's a lot that's on Zoom and yes. and self tape. I do a lot of stuff right from my living room. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like having a second a second set of eyes. Yes, yes, so, yes. You know, I'm, so I'm, let, let's talk about uh, some of the projects that you have been on. First, let's talk about how you got into acting. Mm. Okay. Okay. And and then we will dibble and dabble into some of the other things, your okay. other skills, because okay. there are many. Uh, so yeah, how how did you get into this uh, world of acting? I will try to make this quick because it, it's you it's, ain't gotta um, make it quick. It's um it's an amazing story, uh, to be honest with you, mm-hmm. and not because it's my story. It's just amazing how you know God works and puts it into perspective. Yes. You know when things are going wrong. Mm-hmm. I was. Uh, Forgive me, because I'm going to get kind of hot. <laughs> Wait, are we going to get hot? We, we need Man. a tissue? Yeah. I forgot about uh, a, a endorsement. We need a tissue endorsement, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> at <nah>. some point. <laughs> I had um, asked somebody to look out for me. Yeah. 
We gotta stop. Because I'm no, gonna get... no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. It's okay. Um, Let it out. No, I was, No, it's uh, important. Really, it's important. Go ahead. I was uh I was facing losing everything. And we're gonna have somebody get us some tissue, but could we, we definitely wanna share this story. I think it's really important. Take a take a deep breath. So let's talk about that. How did you get into acting? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest because you, you know we just had a cut because you know, boy, I got I got emotional. I told you, I told you, I asked God to teach me how to cry on set. And now, like man, I cry all the time. Now you can't stop crying. Ooh, man, you got me. All right, so um, I was uh, man, I was about to lose everything. I went yeah. down to live with my brother down in uh, South Florida mm-hmm. and get you know just get myself straight. And as things were happening, um. Sadia Prasad, who uh, who I didn't know at the time, uh, became an actress when I went overseas in the Navy. Mm-hmm. And 20 years later, you know, after, man, 20 years later. Right, 20, right. You know, um, she saw the positivity that I was posting on my Facebook mm-hmm. and uh, was uh, just asking a couple of questions uh, family-wise. And, yeah. and uh, we was just kind of going through it and mm-hmm. talking back and forth. Right. And she made a phone call. Yeah. And uh, next thing I know, uh, Lori Wyman's giving me a call at almost midnight. <laughs> and um, and she said she was a casting director. And I was a little confused. I thought, you know, I just thought it was another title for another camera job. So right, I was right. like, she's like, yeah, I got this new, uh, I got this new show called Ballers. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I'd like you to be in this, in this uh, scene with Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. So I'm not even thinking acting. Right. I'm thinking right. camera. Right. So let me interject. So the reason you're not thinking acting and you're thinking camera is because your experience, one of your skills, is behind the camera. Correct. So you're thinking this is just another uh, another gig. Well, not to only, go shoot. Right. Not, well, not only that. At, at this in particular time, I mean, the only time that I actually got in front of the camera was when I, when I was behind the camera stepping in for somebody to make sure the lighting was correct. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be an actor at that right, point. Right. I mean, I want to, but at the same time, I didn't, I didn't study. You weren't really I didn't, pursuing it. No, no, not mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. So um, when I got the call, and keep in mind, it's almost midnight, and you know how production right, works. Right, right, right. If I don't trust you, I'm not calling you at midnight to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. Right. So I'm like, okay, so this lady's calling me at like almost midnight to right. be on a show with Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, she starts laughing. She goes, no, your friend Sadia, you know, hit me up and said that you were looking to be an actor and this and that. And, and, yeah. that you do. and I was like, oh, wow. So I said, I'm so sorry. I just got a job. I've been out of work forever. Um, can I call you back? Like, can she, mm-hmm. she said, well, she's like, oh, I got, I got plenty of, you know, I got plenty of work for you. Don't worry. I was like, look. <laughs> I know better <laughs> that if you're telling me that I could be in a show with Dwayne Johnson, mm-hmm. that that ain't coming again. Right, right, right. All I'm asking and, is, and I got plenty of work for you. Yeah. She says. So, so, uh, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> so I know that was a nice way of saying <laughs> good luck. <laughs> you know. So, um, I was like, oh man, I said, please, I said, listen, I'm a cameraman. If if you know, if I was your cameraman, I wouldn't just get up and leave on you. I said, right. just let me do the right thing. Yes. And I think that that she got a lot of respect for that. Yeah. So I made the phone call. You calls, showed integrity. You know, um, yeah. and I think that's always been important, mm-hmm. no matter where I was in Absolutely. life. Absolutely. So uh, she said, she goes, yeah, 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 come. So I called uh, Sadia. I said, hey, did, do you know who this is? <laughs> and the very first thing Sadia said, like, oh, trust me, she didn't call you. <laughs> I'm like, well, how did I get her name? <laughs> She's like, well, why are you on the phone with me? And so I checked one more resource, even yes. though I went right, right to the right, source. Right, right, right. I checked one more, and the lady that I called, she goes, yeah, she goes, I just did some extra work on that show. She goes, so you were having one of those moments where Michael Jackson calls, and you're like, yeah, right, it's Michael Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> and well, you're in disbelief. Like, well, not only, well, how'd keep you get my name? Well, keep my it, well that, but, but I didn't know, it's, it's, keep in mind, I made a phone call because I didn't even know who she was. Okay. Well, this is one of like the original. Mind me, vice casting records. Mm-hmm. This is like she, she's like the OG, <laughs> the OG <laughs> you know. And right. I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I just started breaking down because I just got my first job in years. Right, right. I was slinging DVDs on the corner not not too long ago. <laughs> right, right. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, those were legal, but you know, <laughs> you know, I'm in the movie industry and I was, you know, right, right, but, right. But trying to survive. But yeah, but that's where I was. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'd rather sell bootlegs than than dope. Right, right, so right, right, <laughs> so right. I was just trying to find a way to, and and it's just. It's weird, like this started with with Lori, yes. and um, I actually said, you know, I called her right back. She goes, "Thank you for calling me back right away." Yeah. She goes, "We'd love to have you come in," and I actually asked for an open window because I said, "Listen, let me set up the camera." Yeah. yeah. As soon as I set up the camera, I'll be right over. Mm-hmm. She goes, "Can you be here between this time and this time?" I said, "Sure, I'll be right there." Mm-hmm. 
I go over, I audition, I'm nervous, I'm cr- you know, yeah. but I but I studied, yeah. I, but I was I was so nervous, and I was like, oh my gosh, please, like, just don't <laughs> let nobody see my nerves, <laughs> you know, and it was only one line, and I was like, it, it's crazy when you're brand new, that one of line course. will drive you nuts. It's intimidating. <laughs> so here you are, your first gig, you're already in, in awe of the opportunity, right? And I believe you had to go to the person who had just given you a job opportunity to say, what, I'm coming to this new oh, gig or I'm not coming? You or- know, that's funny you say that because I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to lie to this guy. <laughs> and and Sadi was like, no, just pray about it. You'll be good. Just, you know, make sure you cover your bases. And I was like, man, I'm like, like, I got I to tell this dude I'm going to be sick. I got family problems, right. this and that. So you just got a job. So, yeah. And then this gig shows up. And and keep in mind when you audition, you don't know if you got the job. Right, or not. right. You just audition. So <laughs> so this is a crazy part. So I go back and I talk to the to the lady who was in South Florida at the yes, time. Yes. So I told I told her what I was just telling you. Mm-hmm. So like Lori said that oh I got plenty of jobs for mm-hmm. you. I saw your Facebook. I understand. You know you're doing camera work and this. Mm-hmm. So the so the lady was like, "Are you an idiot?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" She goes. You got a casting director who said that she saw your Facebook. That means she saw your face. She right. sees what you're right. about. Right, so she already knows. And, yeah, mm-hmm. and she asked you to come in. Right. Are you dumb? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... I, in I the said, words of Remy Ma, are yeah. you dumb? Are you stupid? <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I was like, I don't know. She goes, you basically got it. And, you know, and... Yeah. and, and as a disclaimer, <laughs> I would never say to a casting director, I know I already got right, it. Right, yeah, right. I just want to put that out there. Right, but, right, but she was like, dude, she's calling you to come in. She right, saw you right. and asked you to come in. Right. So I get there and I do the audition. And before I even made it back to work, you know, I get a phone call. She goes, look, I can't officially tell you just yet, mm-hmm. but you're good. I can't tell you, tell you, <laughs> yeah, but, 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 you but you're good. good. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> and I'm, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't just put her out there like that. But, but she was, you know, but she, but at the well, same time. That was God but at, working. But that, at the that same was... time, she did say like, like, you know, she didn't say official. Right, so, right, right. So, but, and then she it's came look, back. It's, it's looking promising. And then she came back and said, like, it's It looks official. like it might happen. And by the time I, by the time I got back to work, she like was official. And then I was really a wreck. I couldn't even work no more. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was really a wreck. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to be on TV with Dwayne. And keep in mind, no, no, the, even now I work with professional ball players mm-hmm, too. Mm-hmm. None of the ball players heard about this. And this is about athletes. <laughs> and I'm like, is this for <laughs> and, and, so what was, yeah. okay so now you're on set well you you, you somehow work it out where you didn't uh go to the job oh and i, I t- guess that yeah so <laughs> so praying and praying and praying and i mean i would like there have been a million prayers in five minutes <laughs> and i called my boss at midnight mm-hmm. a little because this was the new job you had just just got, got. just okay. got and camera gigs pay good mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know just so you know you know like it wasn't, i wasn't turning down little money right, I was, right, you know right. so um so uh, I called him up and I said, listen, I'm so sorry to call you at night. I said, if it wasn't important, I swear to you, I wouldn't. Right. I said, but I just got an opportunity to audition for a show, acting in the same scene, face to face with Dwayne Johnson. Mm-hmm. I said, I wanted to lie to you. So I told him, <laughs> I said, I, I wanted to lie. lie to you so bad. I said, but I don't think I'll ever have this opportunity again. He goes, it's good. Just call corporate. Let's see if we get you another cameraman. Just, you know, do what right. you got to do. Right. Man, I cried for the rest of the time until I got on set. I was like, wow, did this just happen? And I was good. I was good. Everything and and, and went back to the integrity. I mean, I wanted to oh, trust right, right, me. Right, right. But uh but no, but no. You didn't have yeah, to. You no, didn't I didn't have, have to. to. And then now you're on set, your first gig, your right. first acting opportunity, mm. a one liner, yeah. and you're with an A list actor. A list. A list. A list. You know, um, man, Omar Benson, Omar. Well, of course, everybody knows Rock, but yes, you know, yes. Omar was. Uh, he was on uh, CSI, mm-hmm. um, Miami, mm-hmm. of all places. You know, representing the hometown. <laughs> right, of right, right. Um, you know, uh, JD, mm-hmm. uh, John David. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, the th- you know that's Denzel's son. <laughs> right, you got right, Birdman, right. who just won three championships with the Miami Heat. Mm-hmm. And um, Annabella Costa. It, sounds like know, sounds like you were in good company. It sounds like I was the little man <laughs> trying to just keep it. You know, like everybody else is swimming, I'm trying to float. <laughs> I'm like, and, but, and, what, and what was your line? Uh, Spence, he's got to go. <laughs> That was it. That was it. That was it. Well, there was a there was another one, but you know, it got cut out because yeah. it was a fight scene. So mm-hmm. it, was, it was like you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes some of the stuff lands on the floor, but yeah. but it was just Spence. He's got to go. I was just playing a bouncer and like you know, 
when JD was acting up at the time, and I was like, man, get well, your you, boy. You had some experience as, yeah. as a bouncer. Yeah, so that, a little that bit. A little That's natural. actually why I took it. That's actually why I was like, hold on, I should be able to do this. You should this. do this. I should be able to, yeah. So I was but you like, were still nervous, though. Oh, man. Oh, and, and uh, you know, things were, it's funny because, you know, when being a fight scene, you got a million people yelling everything at the same time. Yeah, it's yeah. not like one person, the other right, person. Right, right, right. It's, it's all every, like, everybody at to the same create time. that element of chaos. As yeah. right, and and I just saw an interview with Omar of how he gives back because Makai Pfeiffer gave to him, mm-hmm. and, and um, you know, and Omar, like when we got in between these these sets, uh, excuse me, the scene, yes, um, he like literally kind of put me like in a you know just grab me and it's yeah. like come here. He goes, dude, just say what you got to say. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. He goes, if, if it looks stupid and they messed up, it's on them. Don't right, worry right, about right, it. Just right. get paid. Yeah. And I was like, okay. he goes, no, don't worry. If it doesn't make, just yell it out. Just yell, <laughs> just, just say what you got to say. say. Yeah. And uh, we went and everything came back and we was good. And, you know, and, and, it, did, and did, it made the cut. And it made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and the words actually made the cut too. So it was like, you know, so I was just like, wow. You know, I always think about that brother because he's always been, you know, that was a defining moment because right. everybody I was looking for, it was the man that I wasn't looking for right. who stepped up and said, hey, right. come here, I got right. you. And that's important. New actor, I mean, this is how you start to, uh, I guess, develop those relationships of having a, a mentor, role model, or just someone to guide you through, give you some you know, nuggets, and right, to help you yeah. along. So now when, what was the next gig? So that was, you got your feet wet. You cut yeah. your feet. And, and, and the whole thing, like I was saying before, when we talked, is yeah. like, you know, God brought me back to Miami and I was like, wow, why Miami? Like you're supposed to go away from home. We right, talked about right. that. We talked about that. And we're gonna so, we're gonna touch on that because I think that's important. And um I, I, I know we talked about putting you in uh contact with some people so that you can uh, do what you want to do. Yeah, I, I'm gonna warn well. you. I might cry yeah. when I say the story <laughs> there. You know, I'm you know, like I'm just, I'm really, I'm honestly, I'm just really so grateful. I can't believe, you know, I mean, this has only been five years, and, right. and you know, while I feel stagnant in a lot of places, you know, I've done a lot in five years. You have. Years. So let's talk about some of the other uh, projects that you've been a part of. So getting back into that, um, you know, God basically stepped in. Yeah. Just so you know, like if you if you're not where you're supposed to be, right. God will make it really uncomfortable for you. So you can get so, on track. So Right. So <laughs> now it's time to come back to Orlando. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, hold on. You just had me leave Orlando. Yeah. So when I came back, now that I got my feet wet acting, mm-hmm. I live right next to the full cell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was like he gave me a place to practice that I didn't have to go far. Right, I could just right. go right next door. I could literally walk to full cell. Mm-hmm. So um, I was, you know, doing all my, you know, auditions and cold reads and stuff, just practicing. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, and then um, and shout what, out to Full Sail. Yeah, we wa- we watched them grow. I remember Man. when it was. Uh, we won't even one, throw out the price. No, 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 no. <laughs> one SSL board at the Roxy nightclub before it turned into Roxy. All right, okay, you that know, part. <laughs> and that was guilt. <laughs> you know, exactly. so so exactly. you know, and, and now look at them. They yep. got the whole corner on University for real. You know, so um, shout out so, to them. Yeah, they're doing absolutely. they're doing big things. Absolutely. Yeah. So um. You know, with that being said, uh, you know, and I had just got an agent, and I got the agent because I got the role. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the role because I got the agent. Right. It was kind of <laughs> okay, the yeah, reverse. It, went, it, it, it reversed. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I told her, and keep in mind, I w- I had no classes, yeah, I had no, no formal headshots, training, right? and I had an agent. You know, which mm-hmm. is you know, shout out to. Uh, it, it is definitely not the norm. That's not. No, that's it's not, not how that goes. It's not. It's, not. it's, it's definitely I mean, not. You have to do the photos, the composites. You have to build the sheets, everything. Right. Like, well, composites is for for models. Right. We, for we, modeling, right, right. but a lot of people still do that right. because they have some foundation. They got to do some commercials and things like that. So right. Right. you didn't have to do any of that. No, no, and I and and but um, you know. Looking back, I, I realized that I limited my agent at that time, mm. you know, because I didn't have that. So when I came up to Orlando, she was like, hey, check this other lady out. She's in Orlando. She can help you better than I can, being that you're not here no more. Yeah. And uh, when I called up uh, Louise, because mm-hmm. um, that was my my last agent, she was like, oh, my gosh. She goes, I know exactly. Like, she was just so excited. Mm-hmm. She goes, I see you as this funny guy. And I was like, fun? like, hold up, nobody ever told me I look funny. You know, like, like, <laughs> right, right, like, right, right. You know? And uh, she was like, yeah, you got this whole Kevin James vibe. And, and I looked at Kevin James. I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, she goes, I normally don't do this, but I already, like, we're talking. She goes, I already submitted you. Yeah. I was like, but you haven't even signed a contract yet. Nothing. She, she, goes, she goes, if she you She saw had, your potential. Yeah. And she, she was like, look, she goes, she goes, I normally don't do it, but I need it done now so we can get you in. Yeah. So, like, we did, like, a speed, you know, 
And, uh, you know, I went back to Dean. Speed booking. Speed book. Yeah, I was going to call it speed dating. But, 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 you know, um, but, you know, I went to Dean. I said, Dean, I need, you know, and I ain't talked to Dean in a minute because mm-hmm. I've been down south. Right. I said, I need your help. Can, you know, can you, can you take this for me? And we taped it. And, like, within a few days, mm-hmm. you know, she was like, you booked. I was like, I did. And this one was for? <laughs> this was for Blackish. Mm-hmm. This was for Black. And I was, I was honestly, I was kind of nervous about that. <laughs> Even though, now that was another one liner. Right. Because um, all I say but is. But you are one lining yourself straight into yes. success. So. Yeah, one line at a time. One, <laughs> one line at a time. Lori liner. taught me. She actually has a, a class, you know, strictly on one liners. Mm-hmm. But, um, but absolutely, I was going to take that opportunity. But it was a decision maker at that time, too, because here I am appearing on, as a white man on a black show, right. accusing, not accusing, but... but Your line but was... My line was mistaking some, a, a black man for another black man. Right. You know, and I was like, wow, is that how... You know, and it's on ABC on right, top right, of that. Right, right. I was like, oh, is that... Is that the... Like, yeah, Ballers was cool, but that was on that was on cable. Right, right. You know, like, you know, and it had a but good... But now we go on Major Network. But yeah, not, you know, yeah, on public TV. On public TV. And I was like, oh, is that, is that really... Right. Right. And I, again, pray to power. And I was like, you know what? It, it, I could always talk about it afterwards. That's right. And I was like, okay. And man, <laughs> I got on there. Anthony, when I met Anthony, he was like, what's your name? I was like, Shane. He was like, what's your name? I was like, Shane. He goes, what's your name? I was like, okay, why does this dude keep that <laughs> But what he was doing, he was like, he wanted to make sure when we got up on set yes. for the rest of the day, yes. he knew my name. Yes. So the rest of the day, he like he called me by my name. Right. And I was like, that really, like, ah, oh, I got you. Mm-hmm. And he's such a people person. We yeah, was out, yeah. like, we were, like, in... Shout out Anthony Anderson. Yeah, man, <laughs> I love you, brother. Um, <laughs> Kenya Barris, I love you. I want to work with you again, just so you know. <laughs> um... No, everybody. I learned. I learned so much. Tracy Ellis. Yes, yes. You know. Um, <laughs> I go up. Tracy there. Ellis Ross. I, I, I go to. I go. Uh, <laughs> I go up to her and I said hello. I'm Shane. She was like, "Who are you?" <laughs> and I felt like so stupid. And, and, and but Anthony and, and, just and, called and, me by yeah, my first name. Yeah, you know. And, and but I. But I. I didn't want to say I was man number one. Right, right, right. You know, this is Tracy <laughs> Ellis. I got Anthony Anderson over here. Lawrence Fishburne sitting right. in the back. I'm like. I'm man number one. You know, like, but it taught me to say, hey, right. hey I'm man number right. one. Right, so that they know, because this yeah. is production. They need to know who's who. Yeah, but not yeah. only that, there's so many people who want to be man right, number right, one. Right, right, right. Be proud of that. You know, exactly. so I was like, it taught, man, that taught me, whew, that taught me a lesson. Yeah. I, like, it kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. I was like, no. <laughs> but, but, no, it taught me a great lesson. Yeah. And Anton Cropper was awesome. And, uh, you well, know. I want to say this. You know, we've known each other for a long time. But when I look at you and I look at your work and it's like deja vu. It's like you were definitely meant to be an actor. L- mm. Literally, it just seems so natural. And that's probably why the pieces are falling into place the way that they are because it's your destiny. Clearly, mm. it's your destiny. Mm, and, that. oh, gosh, you, I see a huge future for you, though. I really oh, do. I so, listen, I'm saying it here, right here. <laughs> Huge future, right? Thank you so much. Yes, yes. I'm talking yeah. A-list. No, yeah, A-list. <laughs> <laughs> An ensemble cast. <laughs> oh, man, it, 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 it's, uh, that's, that's funny you say that because, you know, when I met you, I was, yes. I mean, I was, I was doing camera work because everybody I knew already knew right, music. Right. And but videos. But, and but a lot of people don't know that I actually had a record deal when I got here. Mm-hmm. And um, and there's a difference between being good at something right. and being in your lane. Right. You know, I was good. I had, a, you know, and, and it's funny because a lot of people laughed at me because I actually did a, a um, an intro for Stevie the Man when he mm-hmm. first started mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. with a group called Vocal back in the yes, day. Yes, yes. I was Vocal's hype man for a while. Shout out to yeah. Vocal. Yeah. Yes, you know, indeed. Um, and and they saw and it, Stevie, and, Stevie and, the man. and Stevie, that's right. you know, and, and everybody else along the line because there's a that's whole right. list of radio that's people. That's right. But that's how I got. That's how I got the relationship. Yeah, we talked the 102 jams days yeah, way Ooh, back. <laughs> you know, and, uh, no, you, and, you know, and it's funny because they actually wanted to put the intro in rotation. Right. And right. I was like, huh? <laughs> but that's a whole other story. Yeah. Shout out to Ty and that's all right. of them. Yeah. But love um, Ty. but uh, man, it was uh, you know, it's crazy because now seeing like. When I got when I got there, like I I was talking to all the right people, right, right. 
now, I mean, I know his, his name's kind of bad, but I was just talking to Lou Pearlman, mm-hmm. Johnny Wright. I did mm-hmm. work for hire for, for Johnny right. Wright on a couple of his those, groups. Those names are the the the, the minds and, 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 and dollars behind and seeing yeah. and, and now those nasty beat Wheat makers. makers. Uh, yeah. you know, so these were the humble beginnings, but it's still global success, though. It, you know? And here I'm talking to these people. And, right. and, and you know, and, and see, the thing was, is I didn't know... I was grateful, but I didn't know how grateful to be. Like, I didn't right. realize the impact in, in, you know, because I it just seemed I had easy access. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I hate to say that, but I but I had direct access to these people. All but the, I wasn't making time. it, though. Right. I wasn't making it. Right. Here I had access to all these people, and, and I'm in the studio. I had all the eyes on me. I was mm-hmm. doing... But it still just wasn't clicking. And wasn't Johnny, monetizing. It was it wasn't was monetizing. Wasn't turning into no dollars. <laughs> but but people, I have respect amongst right, people. But course. it just it wasn't my lane. Right. It, you know, no matter how good you, if if you could be amazing in this, no matter what it is, you could be Video amazing. Video work, cook. DJing. You were DJing you for know? Plies. You were doing yeah. uh, all kinds of No, I was stuff. behind. No, no, no were, I was his cameraman. Yeah, cameraman for uh, for Plies, and I mean, you were doing right. a lot of stuff. Like you said, yeah. rubbing shoulders with all the right people. Right. And everybody was making money but me. Mm-hmm. And when I say making no money, I wasn't making any money. Right. I was about to lose my place mm-hmm. while everybody else was making millions. Right. You know, I watched players make like almost a million in a month. Mm-hmm. He probably made more than that. But, right, 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 right. <laughs> but, 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 you know, here I'm making, you know, the, the money I'm making is, is food money. It's right. not rent money. Right. You know, and, and it was like, okay, it's time to make a change. Mm-hmm. And the other thing that I learned is like there could be a lot of people in your corner cheering right. you on. Right, right. But see, I've also learned that because if they ain't cheering you on, don't worry, don't worry about them. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to go another route um, because there's a lot of people cheering, but behind the doors they ain't cheering. Right, right. So you don't right. know you. So my thing is now, if they ain't helping, false faces. If they're not helping, right. If they're not helping, to, and, and I don't, I don't need everybody right, to right. help. But I'm just saying, if they're not helping, it's it, I got to figure something out. Absolutely, absolutely. So. And you, you know, one should never apologize for for wanting better for him or herself one should never apologize for wanting to get in the circle of people that's going to help you progress and at the end of the day we all have to eat clothe ourselves pay rent or buy whatever right and so money is a necessary uh right. evil correct so with all that said where are you now what are you doing now what's your oh, most man. recent project that you could share with us uh, i just uh, did a, a recurring role yes um which is i'm, I'm very grateful so much learning that i did on set it's coming to two major networks mm-hmm. um and that's all i can say at that right, point. right 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 um my character is very volatile mm-hmm. um and i had you know that's another character that i had to really pray about because mm-hmm. it's something that it's definitely not me right but it's going to give me so much opportunity right. to talk to other people, have conversations, help people, help myself, right. because I'm still learning um, some things about myself. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to keep learning until the day I oh, die. Of course, I so, believe so. Um, you know, um, I, was, I was nervous about this one. Okay. Um, but So then this means this could possibly be like a breakout role for you? Um, I'm, you know, that's a God decision. <laughs> that's <laughs> a God, that, that's that. a God decision. But, but, um, but the eyes that are be on this, mm-hmm. the, the people involved with this, I mean, these are, these, I could, man, I don't know what they're, they're, they're the high of the high, they're okay. the hierarchy. Okay. And in and this one in, in particular, uh, instance, yes. It's the top of the top. Okay. And well, I can't, I, I can I'm just feeling, say like, I'll you say know. it. You don't have to say it. I'll say it. I'm feeling a breakout role. I'm <laughs> feeling you. that this is going to be that role that's a catalyst that's really going to open the doors. And, It'll get and, and I think in, in deep inside, <laughs> you, you feel that and you know that. So get ready because it's going to happen. It's the notice role. It's definitely yeah, the yeah. one that's going to get That's noticed. what I'm feeling. That's right. what I'm feeling. So, right. um, and God don't make no mistakes. Right. So get ready. Right, right, right. right. Um, um, man, I, I'm still just enjoying the ride, just seeing where it takes me. So for other people who may be, um, you know, watching this interview and wondering how can they get in contact with you, mm-hmm. how can they get in contact with you? All my social media is at actor Shane Costa. It's all one word, no matter what the platform. It could be Google, Facebook, MySpace. I mean, we, you know, <laughs> you, shout you out to Tom. still holding out MySpace, yeah. baby. <laughs> shout out to Justin Timberlake. Um, <laughs> I heard you bought it. A while ago, <laughs> um, um, no, no, yeah, we're gonna, we gonna have to talk, we're gonna have to get Justin on here because we got some stuff to talk about, man. And uh, you know, um, uh, everything's actor Shane Costa. You can hit me up anytime, everybody hits me on on, on Instagram, you know, uh, it, 
just if you do message me, introduce yourself because yeah. I, you know, like I get so many, you know, DMs and and. What do you respond to the most? Which is the best way? Because you, there's always a particular format that people prefer, whether email, text, you know, DMs, whatever. Which right. do you prefer? Mine's Instagram mostly. Okay. Um, but but introduce yourself because I get so many people coming at me. Um, Yo, you know, so and so and so. And I don't know who's coming at me. Yeah, my dude, you, da, da, da. you know, even even you just said <laughs> yes, you tagged yeah. me in something. I didn't even yes. realize you tagged me. Yeah, that was uh, on Facebook right. uh, because you have something that's dear to your heart that you want to do. Be right. a public speaker. Right. Uh, you want to share that? Yeah, I, I definitely. Um, you know, for anybody watching this, uh, hit me on Instagram. Um, I love. Uh, I mean, I love talking to kids, but mm-hmm. but um. But anybody that I can help out, I mean, as you, I mean, we had to stop because uh, you know I'm about to get teary eyed again, um, because God has been so good, and, and I was able to see other things that a lot of people, um, you know, people aren't fortunate enough yeah. to see what I've seen, right. and I want to be able to help them. And, and, you want to uh, take that experience, uh, share that testimony, right. uplift other people, help guide them, maybe realign them. I believe yeah. that's going. I I believe that this road of actor. Right? right and and this route will give you the necessary tools and notoriety, if you will, so that you can make even more of an impact. Right, and with, I prayed with, for that for a long time. I believe it's going to happen. I, I truly do. I truly do. And you'll see how this comes back around because, um, you know, I used to watch Oprah all the time. You know, <laughs> um, saying how, you know, she wanted to use her platform to make a, a, yes. a you know, a name for herself that yes. would be big enough to help people. Right. And that's what I want to do. And it's funny how God puts the, you know, that will happen. It will. That it will is. happen. Yeah, it, it is <laughs> um, going to. So, uh, so with that said, in the future, who do you want to work with? Or is there a special actor, actress that you're like, oh, if I could, you man, know. Man, I want to work with Omar again. Okay. Just, just because, I mean, that's, that's a guy, like I said, he just grabbed me and said, hey, look, man, yeah. I got you. So, you know, it's those type of people. Um, As far as, man, like, I don't have any in particular. No, I take that back. I was about to say. I take that back. I take that back. JD, if you're watching, can we get get dad on set? Uh, Man, I want to work with Denzel. I can see that happening. Believe it or not, I want to see Denzel. I want to see it. And and, and I was kind of... Forgive me, because I know how you don't like that. (laughs) Right, 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 right. Um, It's all good. We family here. But, 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 um, you know, uh, man, Denzel would be... Gosh, there's just so much knowledge. There is. And, and uh, Felicia Rashad. Oh, my God. Come on. She's one yes. of the people who was training Chadwick Boseman. That's right. You know. Um, you know now, what about a role? So those are some of the people that you like to work with. What would be the premier role that you love to play? I, um, I want to be the I want to be the good guy. Mm hmm. That can, that can handle business. Oh, okay. I don't want. I don't want. You know, I'm not looking. You don't want to get uh, with the typecast playing right. a particular uh, character, right? You don't want to. And I think everything I've done is is going to take me out of that. Mm-hmm. I, like when you see the the variety of stuff that I've done, that mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to be typecast. So yes, name name it so they can pull those uh, movies and and clips and so forth out. Um, so uh, they, we know ballers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of uh, there was a movie that we filmed here um, in Orlando called Fox Hunt Drive that's on the film circuit and is doing some things. It's man, the, it, it's taking a process, but I seen this one image that was it was okay, okay. It, it was coming in. Fox shout Hunt out to Drive, Fox Hunt Drive. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, excuse me, directed by uh, Drew Walker. Okay, and uh, and uh, one of my uh, agency uh, brothers. Uh, <laughs> Man, man, I'm losing it, Ryan. No, it's okay. Ryan, forgive me for the last name. Man, y'all gonna kill me losing these names. I'm so sorry. But um, Fox on Drive is good. I so, so let me let me share something with you all. So, so there is so much that we can talk about, oh, man. and and I'm trying to condense it. And so yeah. I know I'm causing you to have to skip all yeah. over, but it's oh, because man. we can go forever. But we'll, um, you're gonna we'll, have we'll cut the name back. out of there. We'll just say, listen, uh, it cut, we'll cut that, please. And we'll just say, look, Fox on Drive. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, directed by Drew Walker. Okay, it, it's it. It is when I tell you the craziest thriller, because okay. afterwards Ooh, a we got thriller. All uh, right. Um, once we got to go back and look at it, mm-hmm. I was like, "Whoa!" The writing was absolutely crazy. Okay. You got to follow it all the way to. The, it's one of the honestly. Right, so we'll, we'll definitely do that. One last question. Uh, 
any screenplay writing of your own that you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I started a, uh, a short, um, that I wrote, okay. um, I got Ray Acevedo, um, mm-hmm. from, uh, from the group Menudo, uh-huh, with, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, uh, or I should say, I'm sorry, because he talked formally of the group. Formally, <laughs> yeah. Formally. Um, and uh, he's he's been a great friend. He's been, like, working like a horse right All now. Right. He's been flying back and forth. Uh, of course, I want to put Sadia Prasad yes. um, in, into it. Uh, mm. I have Celine Alva from um, The okay. Mob King. Mm. And, um, you know, yeah. I've been saying I wanted to get it done forever, but I'm just getting all the parts. I'm learning a lot on Clubhouse on how to right, get a, right, get right. a lot of stuff done. So, um, so stuff. I've been writing a little bit. Well, um, you're made for this. Thank it, you. It's definitely uh, it, you're definitely in your lane. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> all so right, much. and I appreciate you coming back and uh, helping make this happen because I want to make sure I look out for you because you've always looked out for me. No, I appreciate right? you. Thank you so much. Love yeah, you. So I love you back. <laughs> So this will wrap up our episode of the Nisi D Show, broadcasting from Blue Sky Media Group. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out all those links and uh, sit and watch the show. All right, girl Nisi D, we out. New music, she's scared.